I'm Susan Cox. I'm an associate professor in the School of Population and Public Health and the Center for Applied Ethics. I'm also the director of our PhD and master's programs in the School of Population and Public Health. You follow where your passion and the opportunity leads you, and to me that, that led me into teaching and research. Every class that I teach has an experiential component, and by that I mean learning by doing. When you learn about the art of interviewing, and it is an art, to really learn to listen deeply. That requires a lot of practice and skill, and it's not until students try it and realize how difficult it is that they come back to the more didactic part of teaching and the reading about the theory behind what makes for a good interview. We'll take a, an hour and visit Natobi Garden and uh, have a silent observation during which time I ask students to reflect uh, on their growth as a researcher, how they observe things in the garden and the world. At first they resist it and they don't like this idea, but afterwards they always thank me that uh, they've had this hour of quiet and reflective time because they so seldom get it. The week after we do that, we reflect together on how it is what we're learning as qualitative researchers uh, shapes the questions we ask and the priorities we have in the work that we do. It's a huge honor to receive the Killam Teaching Prize. Because it comes from my students and my colleagues, one of my uh, mentors, Carl Lego, received the Killam a number of years ago and acknowledged one of his mentors, Ted Aoki. I think about that connection between teachers and students that continues. There is a kind of a continuity that is a really beautiful thing. <laughs>